Has the real estate market hit rock bottom? We will discuss this and much more right after this. Hi, my name is Kevin Grolig. I'm a real estate agent with Compass located in Potomac, Maryland. And thanks once again for checking out one of the latest videos in my series, Real Kevin. With all that being said, let's talk real estate and are we rock bottom? One thing that I'm noticing, and of course I'm getting this all the time when people either know what I do for a living or they find out that I'm a real estate agent is, what's going on in the market. And there's no question, there's a lot of confusion. We've got long-term inflation, rising interest rates, shrinking sales volume, and shrinking home inventory. There's a lot that's going on. So while I follow patterns and trends closely in Montgomery County, Maryland, and the surrounding DMV, I recently watched an interesting interview with Redfin CEO Glenn Kelman on CNBC about this very topic. Now, Glenn gives perspective on a national level. And we all know that real estate, it's all about local. However, you will find that there are a lot of patterns that do fall in line with each other. So why don't we take a quick look at the interview clip and I'll give you my thoughts and perspectives where I agree and where I may disagree. So we know these high mortgage rates are wreaking havoc on the housing market. They're a disaster. How, how big of a disaster is it right now? Well, it's been a slow building disaster, so I don't think it feels more apocalyptic now than it did four months ago. The housing market is just taking a beating because affordability is at a four decade low. And so at some point we just need to catch a break from the Federal Reserve. And that doesn't seem likely to happen in 2023. Is it having the desired effect on prices, on rents, given it's also coming up against this backdrop of super low inventories? That is the problem. So it has certainly depressed employment in the real estate sector, but it hasn't hurt prices. Prices keep going up, usually in a downturn like 2008. People don't want to sell, but they have to sell because foreclosure is imminent. In this case, we have had a soft landing. The rest of the economy is doing well. People are not in dire economic straits. And with a 3% mortgage, there's no way they're going to put that house on the market. So we've had a downturn in sales volume, but an upturn in prices. And that means that the sales volume cramp is just going to last a long, long time. So some of my takeaways on Glenn's interview are as follows. Number one, Higher interest rates are here to stay in 2023. I 100% completely agree with that. And in fact, I see nothing on the horizon that's going to change that through the remaining parts of 2023. Who knows anything beyond that? I recently did a video about the Fed suggesting that interest rates may stay higher in 2024 and 2025. However, historically what we do see is that interest rates tend to drop in an election year. So we're getting some conflicting information and conflicting data. My feeling is the interest rates are gonna remain pretty much the same throughout 2024 and into 2025. Obviously, there's always some movement, give or take some, but I, I don't think that we're gonna see any huge jumps or decreases during that time. But once again, my crystal ball is in the shop, so uh, I'm just going on the best that I have available. So we're just gonna have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Point two, uh, he was asked the question, has the higher interest rates, has that had the desired effect that the Fed you know, had in mind when they started raising interest? rates. And really the answer, and once again, I agree, agree with Glenn, the answer is kind of yes and no. Here's the yes side of the answer. Sales volume has dropped nationally and locally. Just to give you some local perspective, as of September 1st, 2023 in Montgomery County, there have been 6,513 sales. In comparison to the same time last year where there were 8,753 sales. This is a drop of nearly 26% year to date. So in this scenario, you can definitely say that the raising of interest rates has had the desired effect from the Fed. Now, here is the no side to the answer. Sales prices are up both nationally and locally. As of September 1, 2023 in Montgomery County, average sales price for a home is $720,900 versus $698,500 at the same time last year. This is an increase in home values of 3.22%. As I've said in some other videos, what I'm noticing is that in those peak time periods, that Q1 and Q2, that spring market, we're seeing home values really jump up. But then what we see happen is in 
Q3 and Q4, things taper out some, soften some, but overall, values are still continuing to rise. Glenn also predicts that the sales volume crunch and low inventory levels will last for a long time. Unlike the real estate crash of 2008, most people are not in financial dire straits and have to sell. Most homeowners have a large amount of equity in their house and historically low fixed rate interest rates. There's also an unwillingness of those homeowners that have two and a half, three percent up to 4% interest rates and even a little bit higher to want to sell. Why would you want to sell today to move into and roll into a seven or seven and a half percent interest rate? So they're just holding on to their homes. And this just leads to his point where people that are selling their homes now have to sell. It's either oftentimes relocation, gotta move. Death, gonna have to sell. Divorce, things like that. We're just not seeing a lot of people who are getting up and once again, walking away from that two and a half, three percent to move across town into seven, seven and a half percent. That has really come to a screeching halt. The last point that Glenn makes in his interview is he does believe that we have seen and have hit rock bottom. He explains that since home sales volume has been tracked, annual sales nationwide have never been lower than 4 million sales in a year. During the pandemic years of 2021 and 2022, nationwide, we saw sales up as high as about six and a half million sales. During the market crash of 2008, we saw closer to four million sales. Locally, I think we're seeing the same thing. Based on current sales trends and statistics in Montgomery County through August of 2023, it's estimated that we'll end up with somewhere between about 9,000 to 9,500 sales in Montgomery County during 2023. During the high of high sales in 2021, Montgomery County had 15,000 672 sales. The low of lows was 2008, where there was 8,519 sales. So much like Glenn is saying that 4 million is about as low as we can go as far as sales go, I also believe that somewhere in that 9,000 range is about as low as we can go in Montgomery County. Another thing that you need to consider too is that nationwide and countywide, our population is about 10% greater than it was in 08 as well. To Glenn Glenn's point, once again, this is a market with very little despair. And it's a market with only have to sellers, not want to sellers. My takeaways are if you're a home buyer, expect to see home values continue to rise. Even though interest rates have made homes much less affordable, there are still more buyers than sellers in the marketplace. If you can afford to buy, buying sooner rather than later most likely will be to your advantage. Even though the real estate market has cooled substantially, we're still seeing bidding wars and multiple offers on the best homes out there. The difference is with a lot of these homes, instead of seeing 10 and 15 and 20 other buyers, we might be seeing you know one, two or three buyers. So the competition is much less fierce and we're also finding situations out there where there is no competition, where you as a buyer have the ability to basically be able to go in there, potentially negotiate the price, maybe have some closing costs paid as well as get your normal due diligence contingencies like home inspection like appraisal and financing. The facts are, while it's not a cakewalk for you as a buyer, it's much easier today than it was six months ago and definitely much easier than it was two years ago. And remember, as a home buyer, you can always refinance your interest rates later if the rates drop to a level where it makes sense. My takeaway for home sellers, as I mentioned earlier, demand has slowed considerably with the higher interest rates. However, there are still more buyers than there are sellers. This is not a time, unlike maybe a year and a half, two years ago, where you can just throw any property on the market and expect that it's going to sell. Nope, today, pricing matters. Also, condition and staging matter more so today than before. The better homes that are priced well, in great condition, staged properly, with a great online presence, as well as a great in-person presence, are still gonna many times see multiple offers and higher values. If you find yourself in a position where you have to sell, rest assured today, you're still as a seller in the driver's seat. That's it for today. So what do you think? Do you have any questions? If so, feel free to reach out to me directly at 240-793-7495. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, 
place a comment, share this video, and subscribe to my channel, and you know, bang that bell icon so you're notified when I post new videos. Thanks once again for checking out the latest video in my series, Real Kevin. See you next week.